Let's talk about some of the issues that Boris Johnson's facing, not with his own MPs, but with the British public. Talk us through, Luke, if you would, the, the current polling and just how damaging and how worrying it will be for Downing Street tonight. Good evening. Uh, good evening, and thank you for uh, having me on. Um, yeah, um, what Boris is facing, actually, is uh, a twin uh, challenge. Um, he's facing, firstly, uh, an erosion of support amongst what you might call the sort of traditional Tory voters in the sort of south and southeast uh, of England. And they're a group of voters who, you know, have particular great respect for kind of institutions following the rules. Um, and they've been really alienated by Partygate. I should say that some of that group were already drifting away from the Conservatives. They don't like a lot of the kind of Brexit uh, rhetoric, uh, and some of them are alienated by the culture war stuff. But the recent revelations have turbocharged that. So that's one front where you've got a threat. The other threat to the Prime Minister that we find in our focus groups comes from those new areas that the Conservatives won in 2019, the so-called Red Wall. And what's really interesting when you chat to voters in those areas is that when you spoke to them last summer, there was a lot of, our oh, Boris, he's a man who's on our side. That's why I voted for him in 2019 and I won't be going back. Speaking them, to them today, there's a lot more of a, well, I had to vote Conservative in 2019 because we had to get that Brexit stuff done and we couldn't vote for the other guy because he was a bit of a joker. But there's no love for the Prime Minister anymore. And that must really worry Tory MPs because it's not just one flank that they've got to try and shore up. It's both flanks at the same time. Now, Luke, you've been tweeting today about Waitrose Woman and how significant uh, she may be to the Conservative Party's future prospects. Let me ask you, who or what is Waitrose Woman and, and why should we be uh, interested in her as an electoral force? Yeah, so we've done a lot of work looking at um, the different segments of the British public. And one of them uh, we call established liberals, uh, it's also been called uh, Waitrose uh, Woman. It's a group who are uh, predominantly uh, in the sort of uh, south or midlands of England. Uh, it's a type of voter who has generally quite reliably been conservative. Certainly that group voted for David Cameron uh, in quite big uh, numbers. But it's also quite a sort of cosmopolitan, outward-looking group who have actually been slightly alienated by some of the rhetoric that we've heard coming out of uh, Downing Street and actually before uh, during the um, Brexit campaign and what followed. Uh, and as I say, they were, they were sort of a core part of that Tory base and we're slowly seeing them peel away. They were one of just two groups out of seven big groups of the British public that where the Tory vote actually went down in 2019 at the last election and we've been tracking it and it's now tipping down even further, in particular because they really don't like this sense of irresponsibility um, that arose or seems to have arisen uh, during Partygate, I suspect um, they'll have been even more alienated uh, by revelations about, you know, particularly some of the treatment that some of the staff in Downing Street, some of the custodians uh, faced. And there's a danger with this Waitrose woman group that the Tory party starts to kind of retake that nasty party mantle, which would be electorally toxic with this group. That's part of a wider problem, Luke, isn't it? The Conservatives in 2019 didn't do as well amongst women as they did amongst men. Is that still the case in the polls? And how big a, a worry, how big a problem uh, is that for them? Um, it, it's a really big um, uh, worry. And what's been really interesting is that sort of since 2019, uh, we've seen that some of those gender gaps widening uh, in the polls. There's clearly something uh, about Boris uh, and his government which isn't connecting uh, with uh, lots of female voters. And actually, if you look back traditionally over history, um, you know, since um, uh, full enfranchisement, actually women have formed the backbone uh, of support for the Conservative Party party and been the reason why Conservatives have enjoyed so many majority governments. So it's got to be a real cause of concern electorally, not, not to mention, you know, it is not a good uh, situation when you are managing to alienate um, a group who is more than half of the public. Thank you. Good to speak to you. That's Luke Trill, UK Director of More in Common. You're listening to me, Ben Kentish.